Ladies and gentlemen, I probably have one of the worst weeks when it comes to getting Funko Pops in the mail. What's going on everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Mike McFly and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys two Funko exclusives that one was kind of hyped up, but it wasn't because it took a while to sell out and one that people were just waiting on and when it was finally dropped, it was a shock drop and it took a, about 30 minutes to sell out, but it's a great looking pop. So without further ado, let's show you these cool Funko exclusives. Well, hello, you tube. It's your boy, Mike McFly, and you're watching the latest video of McFly Collectibles. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I had a crazy week when it comes to my Funko deliveries, you know, and yeah, I haven't done a video this past week because I was just more focused on if my packages were sent to the wrong location, if my packages were lost, if certain things didn't just get here in time. You know, Box Lunch had me confused for two days, had to go through that whole situation because you guys know I pre-ordered the Goonie set. And yeah, you know, so waiting on that to come in, hopefully comes in this time. And once again, I got to be outside my building like a hawk watching USPS or UPS not, you know, not give my package to a wrong address or at least it being delivered in my hands. So I know that it's secured in my hands. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, before I get started on today's video, to all the new people out there, if you haven't done so so far, hit that subscribe button, also hit that notification bell. Make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment and share today's video. So yes, Funko family, collectors, you know, it's been a while since I did a video. To me, a week is a while. And yeah, just, you know, a little bit of information. So when it comes to the Goonie set, which I've seen some people, some stores on Hot Topic and Box Hunts are getting them. But I pre-ordered the set from Box Lunch and I got a tracking number. And when I got the tracking number, it said delivered on March 5th. Yeah, uh, that kind of almost gave me a heart attack. You know, my heart was going because I was just like, wait a minute, March 5th. I pre-ordered in January. The date said late April, early May. What's going on here? I contacted Box Lunch. First of all, I tried to send him an email. It said that it didn't go through. And then the next day I got an email saying, we got your reference number. about. So I... I decided to call. When I called, spoke to someone, and I was on the phone actually waiting for like 30 minutes, but it finally went through, and I told them the situation, gave them my order number, and they sent me the wrong tracking number. Oh, boy. So that was about a day and a half of like, yo, what's going on? But uh, And they, what's funny is they're not sending my pops, the Goonie set, together. They're literally sending each pop by itself. So I'm getting Slav. I'm getting Mikey. I'm getting just these guys in a separate like order so it's like wow so many tracking numbers that's the first thing and we're going to go straight to the first pop i want to show you guys and i ordered two darth vader funko exclusives funny thing is i ordered two separately um basically separately and that was my mistake i should have ordered both but when i ordered one i said you know what let me get one more because you know i seen that nobody is not really selling out so i'm thinking like well it was a shock drop people probably are not paying attention to their phone so I got it, was able to get the second one. This one came in the mail perfectly fine. Now the funny thing about getting this one, yeah, I already opened this one. <laughs> the funny thing about getting this one is it was easy, smooth. This pop, the, the first order did not come right away. When it didn't come right away, they said that it was lost, something like that, you know. It had like a red exclamation point on the tracking number. Next thing you know, when I updated, it said delivered. I'm like, okay, maybe the guy made a mistake, you know. Once again, my local post office, they they got a new guy there, and he's been messing up. So when I went to go talk to the guy, the mailman, I said, listen, man, this package was delivered yesterday. What's going on? Oh, I don't know. It could be, it could be somebody else. These guys don't care. I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to go bananas. So I contacted the local post office, filed a claim. I contacted Funko. Believe it or not, Funko said, all right, you know, you showed us proof. Okay, not a problem. We're going to send you a new one or give you a refund. Now, in my head, ain't this pop sold out? It sold out within 30 minutes, right, I believe. Um, the next day, I got a tracking number from Funko, new order number and tracking number, and they're sending me a new Darth Vader pop. So, to me, it's making me think, are these Funko exclusives really selling out? Like, are they really truly sold out when it says sold out? 
Not sure. Maybe that's why they're restocking Pietro, which a lot of people are waiting on because, remember, it's sold out, and now they're doing a restock. Who knows? But we're going to take this Darth Vader out the box order. And ladies and gentlemen, a cool Star Wars pop that a lot of people, are, to me, are sleeping on, and that is Funko Exclusive Darth Vader. This one is special, as you can see, the Funko Exclusive. It is special because this pop, this concept is from where Darth Vader cut off Luke Skywalker's hand. As you can see, the box is in near mint condition. Honestly, box has like a little, I don't know, it's not a dent or anything. I don't know. It's probably a little bubbly on top. But yeah, box is pretty much near mint, near mint condition. Nothing wrong on top. Here's the factory code bow stamped at the bottom. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the details on this pop. I love that he has the closed fist and... The lightsaber in his right hand, the red lightsaber. A lot of Star Wars fans were happy with this pop and saying this might be one of the best Darth Vader pops because it is a iconic moment in the movie. He, he just, in the movie, he just cut off Luke Skywalker's hand. He's talking to him. You know, they could rule together the dark side, you know, the Empire. And, you know, that scene was amazing. It's one of the most known scenes in Star Wars. Even people that don't watch Star Wars know that scene. So I think this pop, when it comes to the details, it is cool, man. It is a bobblehead figure. I love it. I had to get it. Once again, I ordered two. So hopefully the replacement pop, not the box, the replacement pop will be coming in the mail. So yes, I will have to be basically in front of my building like a hawk waiting for this pop to show up because yeah, guys, um, it, it's coming to a point now when it comes to my local post office, especially when it comes to this bad boy. I believe it was stolen. That's my personal opinion, you know? So, you know, because Funko, once again, it says Funko on the boxes. So maybe somebody saw that and said, you know what, that could be something in there. And probably somebody stole it, you know. They probably left it on the front of the door and somebody just grabbed it. So who knows. But I got it. The second one will be coming. So ladies and gentlemen, a very cool Star Wars pop that to me some people are sleeping on. And that is Darth Vader from, once again, The Empire Strikes Back. This is a pretty cool looking pop if you ask me. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now the next Funko exclusive pop I'm going to be showing you guys is the Tony the Tiger Funko exclusive, the vintage Tony the Tiger. Woo, this pop, ladies and gentlemen. It's in a box order, and I'm telling you right now, this pop looks a lot better in person than it does in pictures. Pictures does not give it enough justice. And ladies and gentlemen, the whole vintage look to this. Look at that. This is fire, guys, and the box came in. Hashtag minty. Mint condition. Box, ladies and gentlemen, nothing wrong on top. Factory code right there at the bottom. The details. Obviously, it is a vintage Tony the Tiger. The funny thing about this pop is I showed this to my mom. And my mom, she likes to see what pops I'm getting. Wants to see. She'll be like, oh, I don't like it. Oh, it doesn't look like When it comes to the ad icons, at least. And when she saw this, she said, I love it. This is cool. One of my close friends, we was watching a UFC fight. They saw it and they were like, wow, this is a good looking pop. I should have got that pop. And I told my friend, I said, listen, you got to be on the shock drops. Just be on the shock drops. Once again, Funko, when it came to this pop, they on their Twitter account, they just posted up a tiger emoji. And I knew they released it right away. And I was able to grab two. So this is a very good looking pop, guys. I believe this will be a grill in the future. It is Vintage Tony. You know what I'm saying? So some people that weren't able to get it are like, man, who cares? Listen, I'm not sure if they did a restock on, if they go to do a restock on this or... You know, God forbid I would have got this lost in the mail and would have told Funko, it says, hey, can I get a replacement? I'm not sure they would have replaced this as well because I'm hearing a lot of people wanted this and a lot of people, not that they got it, but yes, it did sell out, at, I believe, Funko Hollywood and online. So, yeah, this is a very good looking pop. I love it. Will it be a grill in the future? Most likely, but maybe not anytime soon. I say about a year and a half, two years from now. It might be a high value grill. Who knows? But if you got this pop, that is great. So, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best ad icon pops over in general. Tony the Tiger, but this one, the vintage Tony the Tiger. I love it. Well, there you have it, Funko family, collectors out there. You heard my little problems that I had this past week, which is why I didn't do a video because, once again, being busy, making sure that my pops are in the mail. Once again, as, as collectors, we pay for these pops. We want them in great condition, you know, and the last thing we need is the post office or, you know, whether it's UPS, FedEx, LaserShip, you know, USPS, um... Dumb just messing up our, you know, shipment, our packages, you know, or getting it lost. And unfortunately, I'm not worried about the company now. I'm worried about, our, you know, these uh, mailmen. You know, what are they doing with these packages? Are they delivering at the right address? Are they damaging them? Are they just throwing them into the, the, the you know, the, the truck, the van or whatever? And it's, it's very concerning, you know. So 
especially when it comes to like certain pops that are hyped up and you waiting for it to come in. It's like me with sneakers. Certain sneakers that I get, I'm like, you know what? I got to be on the lookout because, you know, when you order stuff from Nike, it will have the Nike logo on it. And some guy would look, some mailman would look and be like, Nike, there's sneakers in here, especially how the box look. So when it comes to Funko, it does say Funko on the box. Some of the back packages, at least, at least when I get them, it says Funko on the box. So maybe there might be some mailman that be like, Funko, I know what these are. I have to flip these. I see some people selling these. They might say it's delivered and they might have just stole it themselves. I'm not, you know, making accusations, but it, I'm sure it has happened. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, so this past week was a crazy week, but I'm glad that I was able at the end of the week to get my Darth Vader, which I'm waiting on the second one, and the Tony the Tiger. Two Funko exclusives that to me, they're a great add to anyone's collection. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been watching the latest video of McFly Collectibles. Hope you guys are having a great day. Till then, I'm out.